Hey guys, okay, so to begin, I want to basically show you what we're going to be building here in this little tutorial. We're going to be making sure that jQuery is working here with a little function and then also a card in Bootstrap and then a collapsible accordion here um, using Bootstrap as well. So importing in jQuery and Bootstrap and I also just want to give you some context about how to import in third-party library so the way that I'll be showing you today is through a content delivery network and uh, this is just the, the fastest safest way of importing in from a third party and uh, I'm gonna link this article if you want to dive deeper into what it, it actually is and where this code is coming from um, but that's the best way alternatively you could download the whole library and post it in your scripts um, folder. This is something that maybe you'd want to do if you were to worry about the CDN uh, having any sort of availability hiccups, which doesn't really happen, so it's not, not a huge concern. But you know, for that peace of mind, you could do that. But uh, I think the benefits of the CDN definitely outweigh that risk. So I just wanted to clear that up before jumping into um, actually doing it. All right, so we have our Squarespace, our basic Squarespace site up and running with a developer mode on. Um, but often you want to use a third party library like uh, jQuery, Bootstrap, those are two of the most popular ones. Um, so I just wanted to quickly walk you through how to add that. So let's start with jQuery and then move on to Bootstrap from there. So uh, let's come into our, our template here, you go to site.region. So this is kind of your base template. Let's add a button here. Um, let me, let me actually, let me add a, its own section. We can have a button and then inside the button, let's say uh, click to see jQuery is working. All right, we'll give that an ID of a jQuery um, button. All right, uh, let's come over here, refresh the page. We can see we have this button here. Um, let's get rid of all this just to make things cleaner, more simple. Um, actually, just quickly do that. Let's just wipe this out here. So you can see, come over here, refresh this. All right, so now we have a very simple, simple page here. Um, so here's our button, um, so nothing's happening. So uh, let's get jQuery imported in. So here in this region, and this is something you do for any region that you create, and I'll cover regions in the next video. Um, but right here you can see Squarespace headers, this is injected from the CMS into the head um, tags. And then right before the, the closing tag of the body, you see here the Squarespace footers injection. And the, the place that we're able to find these is um, if you come into uh, the home config and you go to settings, you can come down here to advanced and then code injection. And so here you see header and footer. And then this is a lock page. You don't have to worry about that. Um, so header and footer, these correspond here to header and footer. So what we're going to do anytime we are importing a library, we use, um, we import in the style sheet into the header and then the script into the footer right before the closing body tag. So uh, let's start with jQuery here. Um, so let's grab the latest stable version here. Um, let's grab Minified. So here's the script that they're providing for us. So let's go ahead and copy this script. Okay, so let's add that into our footer here and save. And then when you save, you have to restart the Squarespace server. That's very important or else that change won't update. Anything you're, anytime you're pulling in changes from the, uh, the Squarespace um, CMS, you have to restart the local server to pull those changes down. 
All right, so um, let's come over here, and of course, we don't have any jQuery code um, associated with this button yet, so let's add that. Uh, so let's just add some script here, um, some jQuery, so let's go. All right, so let's do, here's our jQuery button dot click and then inside of that a function and let's just do alert um, jQuery is working all right let's give it a shot you got to refresh the page okay boom it's working um, let me show you if that tag, um, if that URL isn't imported into that uh, footer location. So let's remove this, copy it, save, restart our server. Okay, let's come over to the console here so we can view any errors. And you can see here, um, this dollar sign is not defined. Okay, so now that we have jQuery, working. Let's uh, move on to getting bootstrap imported. So we come over here to get bootstrap.com and then you come to the introduction. Let's do the quick start here. So uh, well first of all let's let's grab a component. Let's render it on the page and see what it looks like without it imported in. So let's do a card. I'm going to use this in the future project. Uh, so we can just copy this HTML here. Okay, let's uh, let's render this under the button here. And take a look at what it looks like. So you can see here it's pretty broken. There's nothing really happening. Let's uh, let's look at the CSS. So paste this into the head. So let's copy this and come back over here to the Squarespace CMS and then under code injection header, let's paste that. Let's save. Let's refresh. All right. So we have um, some styles now here. So we have the button and we have the outline for the card. Uh, so that's that's encouraging. Um, and then it looks like the text has also changed. So uh, let's now come and check out what it says for importing in the JavaScript. So it has three different scripts here. We have, we see jQuery, we see something called Popper, and we finally see the Bootstrap. This is because Bootstrap is dependent upon these underlying libraries to, to use. So that's why it's rendered last. So we already have jQuery imported. So let's take, uh, well, let's just copy the whole thing here and come back over. And then um, let's paste, remove the jQuery since we have it right here. And so there's popper.js and then finally bootstrap. And let's save that. restart the server. This is kind of just presentational for display. Um, so let's let's uh, grab a component that is actually functional to make sure that the JavaScript is being imported in. Let's do this accordion. So here, let's copy all of this, move on over here, add it under our card. All right. Let's clean up the syntax here a little bit and refresh the page. Boom. So we know now when we click on that, it functions exactly like it should. For demonstration, let's, uh, let's remove these two things here and save and see what happens to that uh, accordion. All right, see, it's uh, 
completely broken here. It doesn't work at all. And then add it back. And there we go. It's functioning properly. So there you have it. I mean, you can, any, any library with a CDN or um, downloadable code, you can add um, to your Squarespace developer template. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.